Good, Good morning, morning, everybody. Rose Garden. Another edition uh, of Deadhead Diaries. It's Monday morning. This is, oh, we're watching the Vampire Diaries now. We went. There's a scene where what's his name, Stefan, is teaching teaching Vicky like about coffee, and I, I've died. This is a new vampire thing I didn't know about. Coffee is our lifeblood. It warms your blood. Okay. Apparently, yeah. it's a vampire hack. Because you're cold, right. so you drink coffee and it warms your this blood. Is how, this is how we stay warm. I didn't know this. So that's how we stay warm in the morning. That's how we keep our blood warm so I... you guys don't know that we're really vampires. <laughs> Which goes perfectly with our topic of the day. Totally. It just completely like lined up. Synchronicity. Vampires, coffee, topic. Amazing. The topic was about being a victim and victim mentality and all of that. And Versus being victimized. Yes. And it's kind of funny because there's this whole metaphysical concept of the energy vampire or the emotional vampire mm -hmm. and the victim of the vampire. But often... The victim is the vampire. Yes. The vampire is the victim. So often we see... One of the same. Yes. Kind of the whole emotional or psychic vampire, emotional vampire, is kind of the same as that person's draining my energy. Mm -hmm. You'll get what we mean in a minute by the victim can become the vampire without even realizing they're doing it after we kind right. of explain. Let's talk for a moment about victim, being the victim, or being victimized. There's a big difference. Everybody in their life will be victimized at one time or another. Somebody will do something to you. There's just no question. In case you didn't, guys didn't get that, that was me silently in the background <laughs> making noise. And that was your victim dance? Okay. So, <laughs> so you might be victimized, but you choose a response to what happens to you and basically make lemonade out of lemons. Or you make guacamole out of avocados. Is that a different topic? It's the same concept. Okay, so... So the victim holds on a lot to blaming and especially blaming others or blaming themselves. Um, that's a clear indicator. So you can be victimized without deciding to adopt victim mentality. That's what we're talking that's about. It. That's it. It's all in the, your head. That's the difference. With victim mentality, you're going to go into blame. Oh, being, this person did this to me, I don't right. know, all this kind of stuff. And for somebody who is victimized and chooses a different response, because it is all in your head, you choose um, not blame, but personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. responsibility. The victimized person who's responding to the attack or whatever chooses choose to assess what happened, figure it out, what can I do differently next time? They take personal responsibility. Even though, even, even though, though something happened to them, they choose not to make it their story. They choose to grow from it instead of letting it weaken them like a vampire. Oh my God, Let it the become sun. Story. The sun. <laughs> it's all the sun's fault. If the sun wasn't there, I wouldn't get burned. You're being a victim. Now let's talk about choosing victim mentality. So something happens to you and you run around, around choosing to stay in the victim mentality. Here's what happened to me. You blame, you blame. It becomes a block to your, becomes a block to your personal recovery where the person who's victimized and chooses a response recovers and grows. So here is where the victim becomes, becomes the vampire. vampire. They become so That's addicted. I'm addicted to the lifeblood. To getting sympathy for how I'm they were to your became a victim that they're addicted to. I got a little blood in my eye. Oh, God. They become addicted to the energy of sympathy they get from others. Now you're you the vampire. Feel sorry for me yet? You really should, because this blood stinks. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's not your fault. It's my fault. It's your fault. People that have something's happened to them, they become a victim, adopt the victim mentality because they get their energy from it. And hold on to it so tight and identify with it so much. They don't want to let it go. That they don't want to or cannot let it go because then they lose who they are. Not only do they possibly lose who they are, but they lose their food. They lose all the energy that they've been getting from other people energy of the sympathy from other people has become their vampiric their food their blood 
all of your sympathy, give it to me. Yeah, so that's how the victim becomes the vampire. So everybody that's complaining about the energy vampires has unwittingly most of the time become the same vampire that they're complaining about. It's the energy vampire and the victim or whatever emotional, it's a kind of a symbiotic thing. So don't be either. You choose your response number one and just you're victimized, something happened, let me move on and do some stuff. You won't ever fall into the trap of uh, being, being a vampire. Important. The great thing is because it's all in your mind, you can change the program. Hey. Once you recognize and realize that you're becoming a victim or a vampire, then you realize it doesn't have to be for eternity. And you can be a foodie. Forever. You can be and you can drink coffee. So one of the questions, this was actually another like two or three question kind of topic. Yes. Um, somebody asked, is it a learned behavior? Absolutely. What if I didn't know I was being a vampire and I have been all this time? And it, absolutely, you can... Unwittingly, let's say it was your family's way of communicating. Um, oh, they did this to me, and da, 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 and it's like and kind of a bonding it up along thing. The way. So you may you may have grown up with this pattern in your own family of blaming other people and and getting into this victim, and you talk. You amongst might be a yourselves. vampire, and you might be a vampire because you might have come from a Maybe vampire family. Maybe your family is their vampires. You don't know. An entire family of vampires. So there you go. So One you, surefire way is: Do they have fangs? Well, that's not what I was going to say, but... Do they melt in the sun? Mm. So, check yourself, because being a victim is often a learned behavior that you picked up from your family. It just might be the way you've communicated with each other. But just pay attention to David's chicken. Um, pay attention And to, here we have vampire chicken. Right, to where you might have been. <laughs> so, pay attention to where in your life you may be playing the victim and blaming other people for slowing you down. And get over it. Just, just stop. stop it. Just stop. Just stop. Stop. Just stop it. Stop. But why would you want to do that? Just, just stop, stop it. it. <laughs> so Unicorn Heather says, <laughs> okay, quick punch list on if you're being a victim. Victims blame others or blame others or themselves. They are in reaction to what's happened to them and seek sympathy. The victim, um, in victim mentality, um, gets their energy from sympathy from others about their story. It can be a learned behavior, most likely from your family, the way you've communicated growing up or something, but it can be unlearned, so just be aware. And you may be unaware that you're even being in victim mentality because you're so used to the behavior. Or you might not know that you're a vampire until you go in the sun. Now, somebody who's victimized can choose to turn this around and um, turn it into a response instead of a reaction. And these kinds of people will take personal responsibility instead of blaming the unicorn for poking you in the magic with the magic. This is also where you gain the most healing because you can assess the situation. No! That's... Oh! So the person who's victimized who chooses to transform it and take it into something better will heal from the situation. They're going to assess the situation. They're going to use it to improve. Stone? Is this stone? This, this is also what leads to growth. So the way out of being the vampire and being the victim is take personal responsibility for your stuff. So if you're a unicorn, be a unicorn all the way. It's crystal time. Unicorn Heather recommends Red Jasper. Closer. <laughs> okay. It just happens to be blood color. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> red Jasper. So red Jasper, the color of blood. Good for the vampire yes. in you. We call it claiming your chi and it's very good. And it's very good for standing in your power and staying in your center and, and framing the unicorn. Oh yeah, here we go. So unicorn. Unicorn Heather recommends Red Jasper for not being a victim. That's it. For changing the vampire in you. Yes. Don't forget about the giveaway. Yes. Lots of fun stuff. Um, Go check it out. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And share. We're off to be a unicorn and a funky chicken. We are off to do our unicorn business of the day. And you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day.